don't make these five mistakes in your sports videography career. So I'm going to share five regrets that I've had in my career with the hope that you guys can learn from them and not make the same mistakes that I did. These range from mistakes that I've made to things that I wish I did earlier. Please consider subscribing to see more helpful videos like this weekly, but let's get into my first regret. So my first big regret is not charging enough. So looking back at a lot of my old videos, I know that I could have been charging a lot more for the final product that I delivered. This came from a lack of confidence in my ability as well as just a lack of knowledge. I was often scared that people would say no if I set a price too high and I also just had no idea what to charge. But then I got to a point where I realized I needed to stick to what I thought I was worth and just say that price. More often than not, people will say yes if your content is truly worth it. And even if they say no, there's often room for negotiation or if not, not, then the job wouldn't have been worth your time anyway. This also allows me to efficiently reject projects that I do not want to work on. I could just say a larger number and then if they say yes then great I get this larger sum of money. If they say no then great I didn't really want to do that video in the first place. So let me know in the comments if you want me to make a full video on pricing your work but overall this first regret is just not charging enough earlier on. And my next big regret is about gear accumulation. So my first regret about gear is buying stuff too prematurely. I would often buy cheap gear instead of saving up for what I truly needed. This is the idea of buying nice versus buying twice. For example, I bought a RF 24 to 105 for my C70, which was a little bit cheaper than the RF 24 to 70 version. Um, I ended up actually having to trade this in and get the RF 24 to 70 version because I realized that this is what I needed in the longer run. I ended up losing a couple hundred bucks this trade in and I really just wish I waited and saved up that extra money um, just so I could buy the 24 to 70 off the bat and then the second regret is simply just buying stuff I did not need so I would see ads or youtubers talking about the newest latest and greatest equipment and I would get tempted to buy them and oftentimes I would and then these things would just collect dust on my shelf and I would never actually use them as I've progressed throughout my career I've gotten a lot more strict about what I spend my money on and I know what is going to truly help me upgrade my content so take away from this that you should save up for what you truly need and and not buy stuff that you do not need. My next regret is not shooting in log earlier. Surprisingly, I just started shooting in log last year. This really opened up a lot of possibilities and was a big step in my journey. Shooting in log really increased my image quality and dynamic range and overall just produced a much higher image coming out of my camera. It also forced me to learn more about exposing and color grading, which has helped me so much more in the long run. Shooting in log is definitely the more professional thing to do as it gives you so much more control over your image in post-production as well as much more dynamic range. I know it's intimidating to learn how to use log at first and color grade it, but my advice to you is that do not procrastinate it as long as I did and just learn now. Trust me, you will thank yourself later. I can only imagine where I would be now had I been shooting log my entire career. So this next regret is something called paralysis by analysis. This is basically the idea that you get a spurt of inspiration and so caught up in planning every little detail that you never actually get around to creating it. Um, this has come across in multiple aspects of my career, such as, for example, this YouTube channel. Um, I always wanted to do YouTube and then I would get so caught up in scripting every video and doing my channel art and all of these other things that took away from actually creating the content. I would never just get an idea and act on it right away. However, when I did get an idea and act on it, I was always so happy with the end product I had. I regret not acting on so many more ideas sooner, as I think I could have made some really cool stuff early on in my career. There was always excuses like, I didn't have this lens yet, I didn't have the right microphone, I didn't have this light, and I definitely gave those excuses to myself, and I really regret that. So my advice is that anytime you get an idea, go out and act on it before you can convince yourself that it's not worth your time. And then finally, my last regret is consuming too much. I spent a lot of my early career consuming way too much content from other creators. I definitely got inspired by some of them, but it also led me to sort of subconsciously copy them, as well as become uninspired because I was discouraged by how good everybody else was. I got into this cycle of comparing myself to others and that kind of took away the, from the joy of creating. This leads to anxiety and creative burnout. The best thing I ever did was delete the Instagram app off of my phone. Besides all the productivity benefits of not wasting time scrolling, it also just allowed me to keep a clean slate up in my brain of stuff that was untainted by other creators. This allowed me to come up with a lot more unique ideas and just have a lot more time to think about what I wanted to create. So I regret not doing this sooner and my advice to you guys is delete the social media off your phone and then check in when you need it on your computer or do what I do and download it when I need to post and then delete it again. You can always check in on your iPad or your computer to make sure you're still engaging with your friends and supporting other videographers work. 
without being constantly bombarded with it throughout the day. So I hope um, me sharing some of my regrets gave you guys some perspective. Um, I think you guys can really learn from these regrets and not make the same mistakes I did. Again, I really wish that I changed some of this stuff earlier on in my career because I think I could be in a much different spot now. But I hope this helped and please consider subscribing to see more helpful videos like this. And thank you guys for watching.